1959, the television landscape welcomed a mischievous character into the hearts of viewers the iconic Dennis the Menace. This classic TV series, based on the comic strip created by Hank Ketchum, brought to life the adventures of young Dennis Mitchell and his escapades that often left his neighbor, Mr. Wilson, exasperated. As we delve into the nostalgic realm of this beloved show, one might wonder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Before we explore the captivating nuances of Dennis the Menace, consider this. Has there been a moment in your life when this timeless series left an indelible mark, perhaps inspiring or impacting you in unexpected ways? Now, let's turn our attention to some intriguing tidbits about the show that might surprise even the most ardent fans. Did you know that Jay North, the young actor who portrayed Dennis, was chosen from over 500 contenders for the role? The selection process might not have been as straightforward as one would assume. Additionally, the series introduced the Mitchell family to television screens, presenting a wholesome depiction of suburban life that resonated with audiences. As we unravel these fascinating facts, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Dennis the Menace. Have there been instances where this classic series became a source of joy or nostalgia for you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Dennis the Menace, a beloved American television series that premiered in 1959, was adapted from Hank Ketchum's comic strip of the same name. The show revolves around the misadventures of Dennis Mitchell, an energetic and curious young boy with a knack for unintentionally causing chaos in his suburban neighborhood. The iconic characters include the endearing but exasperated parents, Henry and Alice Mitchell, Dennis Nemesis, the grumpy Mr. Wilson, and his best friend, Joey. The series is renowned for its wholesome humor and timeless portrayal of childhood antics. Jay North's portrayal of Dennis captured the essence of Ketchum's mischievous character, contributing to the show's widespread popularity. The comedic interplay between Dennis and Mr. Wilson became a hallmark of the series, showcasing the universal themes of innocence and the generation gap. The show's success not only led to numerous accolades, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture. Dennis the Menace was a significant cultural touchstone, influencing subsequent family-oriented sitcoms. Its enduring legacy is evident in the continued fondness for the character and the show, which has transcended generations. The series, through its timeless humor and relatable family dynamics, remains a classic in the annals of television history, continuing to entertain audiences and garnering nostalgic appreciation for the innocence of childhood antics. Joseph Kearns and Herbert Anderson, who played George Wilson and Henry Mitchell in the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, may have portrayed characters from different generations, but in reality, they were only 10 years apart in age. When the series started, Kearns was 52 and Anderson was 42. This age proximity added an interesting dynamic to their on-screen interactions. The show, adapted from Hank Ketchum's comic strip, is best known for its portrayal of the mischievous yet well-intentioned Dennis Mitchell. Interestingly, according to Gloria Henry, who played Alice Mitchell, only the series debut, Dennis Goes to the Movies, depicted Dennis intentionally getting into mischief. For the rest of the series, any chaos caused by Dennis stemmed from his earnestness, or despite his good intentions, emphasizing the innocence of childhood antics. Moreover, a subtle nod to American history is found in the characters George and Martha Wilson, Dennis Neighbors. Their names mirror America's original first family, George and Martha Washington, adding a touch of trivia to the sitcom. As we revisit the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, these behind-the-scenes details shed light on the nuanced relationships among the cast and the subtle historical references woven into the show. The age proximity of Kearns and Anderson, combined with the intentional innocence of Dennis' misadventures, contributed to the unique charm of this classic sitcom. Hal Hopper, the maternal uncle of Jay North, played a unique role behind the scenes of the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace. Hopper, married to North's mother's sister, served as North's guardian during the show's production. However, North has openly discussed the challenges he faced with his aunt and uncle, citing emotional and physical abuse whenever he fell short of his Aunt Mary's high expectations. This off-screen dynamic adds a layer of complexity to the behind-the-scenes narrative of Dennis the Menace, shedding light on the personal struggles faced by a key cast member. 
The series, known for its innocent portrayal of childhood antics, had its own share of challenges beyond the on-screen misadventures. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the untold stories behind this classic sitcom. During the third season of the show, Joseph Kearns, who played George Wilson, unexpectedly passed away. To address his absence, the storyline explained that George Wilson had gone on a trip to Ohio. In the show, his brother John took care of the house and visited Martha Wilson while George Wilson was away. This unexpected turn of events in the series highlighted the challenges faced by the production team when a key cast member passed away. The decision to incorporate the explanation into the storyline demonstrated the creative solutions employed to navigate real-world situations within the fictional world of Dennis the Menace. In the iconic TV series, the house where Dennis Mitchell and his parents lived holds a noteworthy connection. It's the same house that previously belonged to Donna Stone, and her family and father knows best. Interestingly, the adjacent house, Mr. Wilson's residence, was also featured in Father Knows Best as the Anderson family home, and later became the setting for I Dream of Jeannie. This residential neighborhood set at Warner Ranch in Burbank, known as Blondie Street, served as the backdrop for various classic TV homes, including those in Bewitched, The Partridge Family, and Hazel. Notably, the entire block was used in the 1998 movie Pleasantville to depict an idealized TV neighborhood. The shared history of these familiar TV locales adds a layer of nostalgia to the enduring legacy of the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, showcasing the interconnectedness of television sets and the timeless appeal of these fictional homes. Jeannie Russell, chosen by Jay North himself, played the role of Margaret Wade in the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace. As the show gained popularity, it took on different titles in various regions. In the United Kingdom, it was shortened to Dennis to avoid confusion with a pre-existing British strip of the same name. Over its four seasons, the series amassed a total of 146 episodes, with season one comprising 32 episodes on Monday evenings, and the subsequent three seasons airing 38 episodes each on Sunday evenings. This scheduling evolution marked a shift in the show's broadcasting strategy. The interconnectedness of TV sets is evident in the choice of the iconic residential neighborhood set at Warner Ranch in Burbank, known as Blondie Street. The very house where Dennis Mitchell and his parents lived was previously featured in Father Knows Best, creating a subtle link between classic TV homes. Jeannie Russell's selection by Jay North and the show's title adaptation in the UK provide intriguing insights into the behind-the-scenes dynamics and the global reception of the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace. These details, along with the show's unique scheduling history and shared TV locales, contribute to the enduring legacy of this classic sitcom. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic realm of Dennis the Menace, take a moment to stroll down memory lane. What was it about the 1959 TV series that etched itself into the fabric of your recollections? Was it the mischievous charm of Dennis, the exasperated yet endearing Mr. Wilson, or perhaps the quaint simplicity of a bygone era? As you reflect on your personal connection with this timeless classic, consider the laughter it sparked, the life lessons it subtly wove into its narratives, and the camaraderie it fostered within living rooms across the globe. Did you find echoes of your own childhood escapades in Dennis Capers? Were you, too, a witness to the shenanigans that left Mr. Wilson shaking his head in amused frustration? We invite you to share your cherished memories, the anecdotes that make Dennis the Menace more than just a show but a shared experience. In the comments below, let the tapestry of your thoughts unfold. What lessons did you carry from Mr. Wilson's exasperation and Dennis' innocence? How did the series shape your perspective on mischief, friendship, and the simple joys of life? Your stories are the threads that weave the enduring legacy of Dennis the Menace. Connect with fellow enthusiasts, trade tales, and relive the moments that continue to echo through the corridors of time. Together, let's celebrate the magic of a show that transcends generations. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey and for contributing your unique chapter to the saga of Dennis the Menace. Your time and reflections are the heartbeat of this community, keeping the spirit of the series alive. Until we meet again in the realms of shared memories, this is goodbye, and here's to the timeless charm of Dennis and Mr. Wilson.